Yo, what's good, YouTube family? I want to welcome back all the returning members to the channel and to all the new members and subscribers, not members, but new subscribers. Welcome. Uh, so in today's video, we're going to take a break from the normal build videos that I, I do on this channel. Uh, you know, from time to time, I try to show a little gameplay and show uh, some tips and tricks kind of help you guys on you know offense defense side of the ball what to look for what not to look for like i said i'm not a great player by any stretch you know i'm probably a little bit slightly above average player at the game but i want to share some of my thoughts uh and things i've learned over the years and try to help you guys out a little bit you know some you know a lot of you guys probably already goats in 2k so maybe this isn't information that you need uh, but we do have a lot of new people um playing the game and we have a lot of, a lot of new uh people that probably need to hear this information so this uh, this gameplay that you got going in the background this is when i was on my p-lock first game back i think this first season three game or something like that uh, on my p-lock so i was breaking a lot i was probably 50 <laughs> in this video because you know when you when you have a when you use a smaller players you know playing point guard and stuff like that and then you go to a little bit a player that has a longer wingspan uh, that shot is probably a little bit slower than what you're used to and you know i'm a, I'm a muscle memory type shooter so yeah i was 50 in this game uh but that's not the point of this video the point of this video is to kind of show you guys how to move defensively uh particularly in rec or just it did defensively overall um and i'm gonna showcase one of my teammates um he probably never see this video but anyway i'm gonna show the mistakes he was making and moving, especially in rec, because uh, he was getting decks to hell. So I'm gonna show you guys a lot of the clips where he was doing something wrong, and I'm gonna show you guys uh, what you could do to kind of correct the movement on the defensive end in in rec. So let's get into that. We're gonna go, we're gonna go into the film room. Let's do it. All right. So right off the bat, let's see. Let's use this little pen tool here. Right off the bat, this is the gentleman we want to follow. He's going to be guard number 15, number seven on our team. We'll pay attention to him and watch how he's moving in red. All right. So I'm going to let it run full speed. Let's go. Oh, hold on. I guess I got to turn this back on. All right, watch, watch that. Watch how he's moving. He's all he's on turbo a lot. He's not using his L2. L2 plus turbo. And look what happened. Right? And I have an AI in this game, by the way. Let's go back a little bit. We're gonna slow this down just a tick. Alright, we're gonna watch him. He's here. What he should be doing is sliding, sliding. I guess he got bumped, slide. Then he should be in position right here. But then he gets behind him. Then he tries to run back like he's going to the... I'm already here, so there's no reason for you to run. And then he got Jade on. All he had to do was get back in the position and then use his L2 to get in his defensive stance and slide back. Uh, but he didn't do that. Um, I, My opinion is I don't think he practice, practices defense. Um, and and where you should practice defense the most and, and stuff what I'm telling you is you need to go into career mode and practice your movement uh, practice anything in career mode career mode is your friend to practice your movement practice your shot practice dribbling against not live opponents but AI so you can get comfortable in your movement so when you get to playing against an opponent it's second nature uh, but I'm not saying you should you should do career mode I'm just saying if you want to get better at movement in, in any capacity, offensive, defensively, you should practice in my career first. All right, let's move a little further. All right, so let's watch him. He's here. Watch him. Ah, I don't think this is it. Oh, I guess I want to show. Um, oh, look at the score. Look at the score. So we're up 30 to 12 right so we should be killing this this game should be over like we should we should straight kill these guys um because i don't know maybe they're random teammates 
but they weren't a very good team. Um, yeah, I don't want to say not a very good team because they could be learning, they could be new at the game. Um, but in in respect, you know, they their movement and everything wasn't above average, right? So we shouldn't we should not be struggling with this team. All right, so. But I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna show you what happens when you have players that are not on the same wavelength as, as you are. All right, all right. So here's number seven. Watch number seven. Look at his movement. Let's, let's bring that back a little bit. Slow it down. Just all right. Look at his movement. He should be on L2. Look at me. I'm on L2. Just sliding, sliding to stand in front of my opponent. He should be on L2 too, right? Look at him. Now he's running. L2, especially in rec, L2 and R2 for a little turbo on L2. Just slide. It's all about, you know, if you guys ever play football, you know, they all, on defensive side, they always talk about angles. On defense, you just need to take angles. What was that? What was that? Where are you going? Just slide and stay in front of your guy. It's all about angles on defense. A wide open shot, greens it. See what I'm saying? L2 is your friend. R2 is your friend if you need to move a little bit faster. I don't know what his perimeter defense and speed and stuff is on. Um, and acceleration, but all that plays a, a role. Like, you should only be on your turbo if, like, you... If you like got decks, which you should really get decks like that if you're on L2. But if you beat severely, then you should get on your turbo. But then you should correct it by getting back on L2. Let's move forward a little bit. All right, here we go. All right, see, so he's up here. We already got two people in the paint. What are you doing? He lost his man by trying to get. I'm not playing his role. Your role is to guard big dog games. And he played big dog. He hit all. He had a good amount of his wide open shots, right? So if we look back here, I don't know what happened on this play though. All right, so your guys here running baseline. We have three people here. Why are you here? You should be here following your guy. You know, and, and you know, a lot of times in playing wreck, um, especially if it's your first time playing wreck, you can get lost. I remember when I first started playing wreck, 2k18 i would get lost a lot of times right so it's just one of those things where you gotta keep, keep practicing practicing your fundamentals and stick to your man you know what i always say mind your own business meaning you stick to your dude um until you get comfortable enough where you can play multiple guys in red all right let's go to another player right, right here i'm trying to help him because i got an ai and i get back here just so they don't get no easy pass but look what's happening What's happening on the perimeter? Follow number seven. Look at him inside. For what? Jump for what? Wide open. It wasn't a green, but it was you know close enough. Sniper definitely helps on those late, slightly late, slightly early releases. So don't do that. Just stick to your dude. We already got two people inside. Your dude is killing. And also look at the score. They've come back six points, which they shouldn't have. Uh, a large portion of portion of that was seven to twenty-five were friends, I suppose. And these guys were just throwing turnovers and putting up bad shots, giving up transition buckets. You know that's how you lose, or that's how you that's how the uh, point gap gets closed real quick. All right, let's move forward on another clip. All right, let's get back to offense. All right, let's watch number seven and. In the top right corner. Let's see how he's moving. He should be sliding, not running. Because dude's going to dex him. Watch this. Come this way. Dex. Look at him. Not on his L2. Then Dirty Mark kind of bumped him. He got beat. And I get dumped on. You know. You got to be on your L2, R2. Especially in wreck. Ain't no reason to be moving. No reason to be moving like that. You know what I mean? You just you need to practice L2, R2. And slide your feet. Very simple basketball concept. Slide your feet. And then that doesn't happen. You know, you're always in position. 
All right, let's move to another clip. All right, so this is off the rebound. And this dude comes out here. So he passes in inbounds. Now, where is he? In here. Why? We already have two people down here. There's no reason for him to be in here. All right? You need to get back to your man as quick as possible. Look at that. Wide open shot. Like I say, man, you got to stick to your fundamentals. Stick your man. You don't need to help when you don't need to help. I mean, the center was killing, you know, check the, check the score, right? Look, you know, like I said, I had an AI who's killing. Lee, your dude was killing you. Uh, although y'all was going back and forth. And D-Town, your dude was killing you. Right? That's how that happens. Tie game. All right, let's watch number seven, top left corner. Guard number 15, look at him. He's on the left stick. He don't know how to use the L2. I don't think he know how to use it. He's about to get dexed. Watch this. 15 came. Dexed him. He kind of passed him open though. But even before that, he was lost before that. L2, R2 is your friend on defense. Trust me. All right, let's move to another clip. I'm just trying to show you guys some clips of bad defense. And then what you can do to correct that, you know, I'll show you towards, I think, towards the end, towards a couple clips at the end on how I'm moving. All right, so he switched. So look, I'm trying to help him a little bit. Well, I'm trying to guard my guy. And I'm really trying to get an on ball still. Cold almost got the steal there. And what happened there? What happened to him? I don't know. Let's look. Let's follow him. I was looking at my guy. Or looking at me and my player. All right. So, I don't know if the AI switched. The AI may have switched with him. And maybe he has his arrows on. But even still, you should you should watch that because the AI tends to switch onto the open person on defense. All right. So, he switched back to his guy. All right. You should switch. Switch back to your dude. So, I don't know why he's hugging my guy. You know, so that's a good defensive sequence. So codes on him. Now he's on. Maybe he has his arrows on. Like I said, I don't run with my arrows on. So I don't know. You know, I just kind of play it by. Uh, that's a good defensive position. And watch this. You know, that was better. That was a better defensive sequence, right? Um, like I said, I don't. I don't run with. Um, I don't run with my arrows on, so I just kind of react to who's the, who's the open guy and, and kind of close that space. So we out. And how do you get beat? Let's see. Where is he? He's in the right corner, right? So as soon as Cole take that shot, you need to come out. That ain't your board. You're not getting that board over the big man. I, I don't understand that. Uh, small guards or guards or even forwards. If you're not in position to rebound and the big is in position to rebound, don't even go for that. Get back on defense. You're not getting that board unless you got unless you have like gold rebound chaser and you got a high. I mean, to have gold, you had to have like over 90 rebound and the ball bounces wide. But as soon as that ball come off the rim and it's short, you're not getting that. Get back on defense, right? Because then, then a lot of times, you know, if they're a good team, they run out in transition. And it's a two on three situation because you wanted to decide to go in and try to get a board. You're not this on this 2K, you're not getting boards um over a big man. It's just not happening. Unless it's a long rebound. But nine times out of ten, you're not getting that board. Get back on defense. Alright, so I'm I'm gonna guard this little, I'm gonna guard this guy a little bit. As you can see, I'm L2 R2. And if he comes up, I'm gonna Come up in pressure. I'm just trying to give him a little space. And that was a good contest. I was just trying to give him a little space to think that he has a shot. And give me that. Because I already knew they wanted to get it back to 15 because 15 was killing. So usually the the, the offense is going to try to find the player that's, that's scoring the most points. So you just need to follow that player, locate that player. And when the opportune moment is, is there, 
they're going to want to try to pass, especially if they get stuck or in a position where uh, they need to get rid of the ball. They're going to usually give it to the, the player that was killing their offense. All right. So, yeah, that was a good play. All right, let's go a little bit further on in the. All right, so now we got team takeover, and now we're in the fourth quarter. So the game is um, dang near over. Uh, you know, we came back and got a, got some turnovers. Like I said, I'm 50 in this game. Um, Cause like I said, it's it it been a minute since I played on my P lock, but I want to get him up at least to like 97, so I can get more badges and stuff on him. All right, so right here I'm sh I'm shading. Watch me. See, I'm running with him, but I'm an L2. I'm an L2. See, I'm an L2. Come back out. It's all about angles. So I don't need to follow him. I just need to stay on top of it because stay on top of the passing lane angle. Right? So right here, look. I'm l 2 running just in case I was thinking I knew they was going to pass it to him. So we're just doubling up. And Cole goes in and gets the steal. Like I said, he was their main scoring guy because me and Cole, well, Cole was locking up his guy. Dirty was on his guy. So those were the main two guys that were scoring this shot by Dirty. So this is just the last thing, but I want to show you all my movement. See, look. He doesn't see this guy, so I, you know, I got a little time. You don't always have to be up on him. So look, I'm L2 and I'm just taking away that passing lane. Taking away the passing lane, L2 and just Staying down that passing lane just in case he thinks about passing it to him. Then I get back to, I might run a little bit on the sticks, but I'm back to L2, R2. And it's a it's a, it's a a feel type thing, guys. The more you do it, the more you can get a feel on when do I need to L2, R2 with, and when do I need to go straight R2 of turbo to catch up. It's just one of those feel type things that you gotta, you know, you gotta get past. All right. So let's see, what's on, on the inbound? So, all right, Cole's back on his guy. So, I'm going to go back to... I'm going to go back to that guy. Just to make sure, you know... I mean, it's the end of the game, but I just want to kind of show you guys... Just moving. Just moving. Free movement. Look at that. Good block. But what happened? What happened to our dude on that play? He got Dex, huh? And Dexon is easy. And 2K, watch this. He ain't on his L2, got beat. The other part of defense is anticipation, right? Anticipation on defense. And what I mean by anticipation is, all right, so coming off the inbound, we'll slow it down just a little bit more. Coming off the inbound, where's the, the offensive player most likely to go? Where's the widest space? In the paint. So I tried to get there, because I noticed it after, you know, after I guess seven noticed it. That's a good play. But that's the thing. The offense is going to go where there's space available. That's all offensive players. That's how you get dexed, right? The dex is to go and get somebody sliding on their feet, right? Off ball. So usually they're trying to dex you to a position that's open on the court. So if you already know where the open position is, you can't get dexed. Right, unless unless it's a wide amount of space, like for instance, if the if the corner is open and the wing is open and the top is open, then you could get dexed, you know, crazy up here. But if if all this is open, that means a portion of the court is still kind of guarded. They have more defenders there, so you just take away the wide open portion side of the court, and then if they dex you here, then you could easily get back here. It's hard to get you know get dexed to the corner and get back to that corner. Um, here, but you know, just it's just about playing, you know, safety, safety positions, right? Just where's your position of strength on defense? That's it, that's where you have to find on defense, y'all. All right, that's the end of the game. You know, we come back and you know, we went by 20 or something like that. Like I said, they had an AI, um, so it was a little bit easier, you know, once we were able to zone in on because Cole was locking up his guy, so it really was only two dudes scoring. Let me see. Let's see if we get to the end. What the score was. All right. So, as you can see, like I said, the AI wasn't going to score. So, who scored the most points? It was D-Town's guy and the center. Right? Cole locked up his guy. 
Dirty locked up his guy. A lot of times, it's, it's that one person that gets matched up against a, a guard. Usually, it's a guard. And they can't check the guard, and the guard go crazy. And then the other thing is, uh, so my thing is, and I might be rambling a little bit. I don't know how, how long this, this video is, but um, so when you're playing rec or just playing 5v5, my goal and what I always say is if you take away the point guard and the center, you have at least a 60-70% chance to win the game. Because the point guard is the one handling the ball and the defense, uh, the center is the one getting boards and getting second chance opportunities. You negate those two, then it's, you know, then you got three people to, to, to knock out, right? So Cole's on the point guard. We don't have a center. I'm, I'm usually on the center or Cole's on the center or Dirty's on his center, right? So we're usually able to control the point guard and, you know, since it's only three of us, a point guard and a center. And then the next thing is, all right, who's the next capable guard that's scoring? Then me or Cole takes that person away. So then your scoring can only come from your three or four. And usually those aren't ball handlers. So, you know, you can usually contain them pretty well. But yeah. All right, man, that's it for this video. I just wanted to kind of show you guys defensive movement and what you can do to get better at defensive movement. Definitely go into my career and practice those uh those concepts just slide your feet r2 l2 together if you need to you know run get off get off of that and then get back to uh your defensive stand l2 uh, and take away those passing lanes once again gratitude appreciate everybody that's uh watch this vid watch portions of this vid all the returning new subscribers i appreciate y'all 2k mechanics signing out until the next video y'all peace